Episode 24. First empty it, then you need to clean it. I see some olive oil has spilled. Put them here while you're cleaning up and we'll deal with it. Understand? I've got it. Yes, sir, I do. Sally! Yes, Mukadis. I'm very surprised. I've always been good at shocking people. I cannot believe that it's you. Come. We can talk in my office. Okay. Could you bring us some tea? And so, how is everything back in the village? How would I know? I live in Istanbul. Oh, really? That's right. How long have you been there? A while. Have a seat. Well, how have you been? Just fine. How did you find me? Well, it wasn't on purpose. It just happened. I came here to visit a friend of mine, and on my way home, I saw a sign that said, Mercan Lee Vegetables, and I wondered. And I walked in and saw you. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. If I had taken a taxi, then I wouldn't have seen you. Well, then I guess it's fate then. It is. Well, tell me what you've been up to. I'll call for tea again. Can you please bring the tea? Okay, hurry up. He's bringing it. You're married now. You too. Yes. And these are my little darlings. Oh, they're beautiful. So, two girls? Well, I've always thought girls are sweeter. They're more fond of their fathers. Oh, right. And you have? A boy. May Allah bless him. Murat's the only one I have. Very nice. Have you brought the tea? I'm ashamed to make my guest wait. It was boiling, then I had to wait until it steeped. Thanks. Enjoy it. So how are your parents? They're doing well. They live in Antalya. The cold weather in El Deer is not good for my father, so they went to live with my aunt. They're getting old now, but I guess we all are. <laughs> no way. The years have been good to you. You're lovelier and more mature. Well, I thank you. But I'm a different person than the girl you once knew. Much better, and I like it. Another tea? I need to get going. What do you mean, get going? We don't see each other that often. Well, if we don't, it's because of you, Sally. Oh, don't say that. I know that what I did to you was wrong, but you don't know everything that happened to me. I had come here, and you know I was to be back in 10 days. You were bringing your parents. That's right. When I came here, I found that my dad had started a business for me. It was crazy and very hectic. Did your father change your phone number? Please, don't be like that, Mukadis. Stop punishing me. <laughs> I'm just joking. Then what? We started the business, then I went into the military, First I went to Malatia and then on to Sylvan. If I were to tell you some of the events that happened, you just can't imagine the stories that I have to tell you. When I returned, I heard that you'd gotten married. Yeah, after I had a lot of affairs. Should I have waited for you? I married later that summer. Good for you then. It's fortune. It's fortune. Did you look for me after that? Of course I looked. What does your husband do then? He's in the dairy business. 
Ah, speaking of him. Why don't you answer it? Because he'll be furious that I'm late. I'll call when I'm on my way. Look, he's brought more tea. Drink one more and then you can go. Okay. Thank you. I'd better go now. Leaving, huh? I need to be getting home. Uh, come in here. Please prepare a package for our guest. We can't leave her without a gift. Okay, sir. Hurry up. She's going. You don't need to do that. There's no need for that. No way. I haven't seen you in so long. Just consider it a small gift. From me to you. Will you make up for everything that happened with some peas and rice? We'll have much more time than that. When will I see you again? <laughs> Let me give you my number. Then we can talk in the afternoons, or we'll hang out. We'll see. We didn't have enough time to fulfill our longings. So you're not afraid of your wife? Oh, come on. Can't we have a chat like two old friends? I don't know yet. <laughs> I'll see you, my friend. Say hi to your husband. Give your son a kiss from me. Oh, thank you. I'll take it. I'll call you a taxi. No, there's no need. I am very glad to see you. I will call you soon. Goodbye, then. Where were you, Mukadis? Uncle Karim took us on a traveling tour in Slow it. down, my son. Where have you been? Can you let me get my breath, Rami? Oh, I went to the Behans. But they weren't home and I went shopping instead. How are you, Famagul? I'm fine. Where did you go shopping, Mukadis? You've been gone for so many hours. Well, I will tell you. Just wait. Hi, Miriam. Welcome back. Recently, Mrs. Behan told me that there are some cheap, classy shops in Uskadar. When I couldn't find her at home, I decided to go, so I called a taxi and went myself. The houses were so beautiful, but I couldn't see inside them. I walked around the shops and explored. I walked around a little bit and I bought these, and then I came here and that's all. See, Fatma Kul? We were sad for nothing. It wasn't the Yasserans, just shopping. What about the Yasserans? That's what we thought. I, I thought so, me. Not Fatma Kul, I thought that. I saw you get in a taxi earlier. I thought you were going to talk to Munir again. Oh, it's amazing how your brain works. With a lawyer. Anyway, I'm exhausted and my feet are really killing me. I need to take a nap. So it's all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. She wasn't at the Yasserans. Fatma Gul was sad for nothing. You said it was all right. You knew she was at the market. Yes, that's right.
Sully's number. I am full too. It was good. Thanks, my precious. Are you finished? Let's wash your hands, come. She ran to her room and it's so early. Something strange is going on. Wherever she went today, I know she lied. Hey, listen. I'm gonna go for a walk. And where will you go? I don't know, I'll wander. But have your dinner first. Don't upset me. Leave it for me. I'll do it and you can study. I'll go when it's done. No, it's fine. I've got it, dear. Go on. 